We are at Zilexpo on the first day at Milan with uh, Mr. Daniel Schrink. He is the Managing Director, Sales and Marketing, Lauco, Germany. How are you, sir? Good, and yourself? I'm good, thank you. Tell me about your expectation from this show in Milan, Zilexpo. Well, the worldwide economy is going very well at the moment. In all the different continents, also the Italian economy is recovering from its down phases. So our expectations were quite high and as far as we can say until now, it is fully satisfied. It's really great to know. You are presenting a new generation of jointing cutters uh, in the airface design. That's right. Can you tell us briefly about the airface design? In the airface design we have integrated a special technical surface that reduces air friction and air turbulences and therefore also that reduces the so-called double chipping and that gives us an improved tool life, less noise emission and a better cutting quality. Well, uh, Powertech Hogarth, uh, Hogarth becomes Powertech Airface. What are the benefits uh, you are offering to the customer through this? Obviously also in the hogging systems, in the Powertech Hoggers, the airface design with this technical surface uh, is integrated, that means air friction and turbulences are reduced. At the same time we have uh, further developed our diamond grades and tip thicknesses that gives us more strength and more stability. And we integrated also a special uh, self-sharpening profile and that again gives us is extraordinary uh, tool life performances. Well, what do you feel, what do you think is the main reason behind the global success of Lauco no noise joining cutters? I think the real success is that we're not only thinking about the physical tool, we are thinking about the whole integrated system. And that always means the tool, the spindle, the machine, and also the extraction hood. And only if you keep all these technical aspects together, you can get a real good solution. Well, as far as the customers are concerned, they always look for the service before they decide a product or a company. In, in terms of Lauco, like what's your call on the after-sell service worldwide and mainly for your market? I think that's one of the key factors of our success. Lauco is working worldwide and that means we are in the position to guarantee the same quality all over the world and not only talking about new tools but only also talking about service facilities, service technology and that means the tool keeps its performance and its quality over the whole life cycle. Well, uh, what do you place yourself when it comes to Industry 4.0? Well, Industry 4.0 is certainly a, an exciting topic. Loco, as a family-owned business, decided to be at the top of the development. That means we started already years ago with creating a di digital twin that is based in the cloud. We are implementing right now the serialization of all our tools. And that means we are from now on in the position to have a complete data analysis over the whole tool performance, but also the environmental and machining performance of wood processing sy systems. Well, as I know, Lauco is, is really, you have a strong presence in American market and in few months we have uh, IWF Atlanta, is one of the best show in North America. Tell me your plan and tell me your presence in American market. We are quite happy with the development that we took in the North American market. Uh, we follow and continuously follow our strategy of uh, sustainable growth in the US and in Canada. We increased our facilities, we made up new service stations, we enlarged our sales team and that was the reason of our success. And especially on the IWF in this year we expect some more innovations in terms of integrated wood processing solutions. We will show how to cut new advanced materials and I'm sure we have something interesting to show there. Definitely we look forward for that. Are you trying to develop any new market? For example, Russia and Middle East is really a good market now. I mean, Loiko is already working worldwide nowadays, but of course we have some specific also regional strategic targets and Central Asia and possibly also the Near East can be one of our target markets for the future, where we have still room to grow, especially uh, with our service 
capacities. Thank you so much for talking to us. Uh, wish you a good show here in Milan. Thank you very much.